Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Monday, March 23rd, and it is 8.26 p.m., and I have a wonderful video to share with you that I think you will find very interesting. The Lord told this lady, who is a missionary in Portugal, um, well, let me let her tell you. I've got it keyed up. She was talking about how she just had her baby. He's in her lap. He's two weeks old as of the making of this on March the 17th. Her channel is Anna Jeffrey. I guess it's her channel. She didn't say her name, I don't think. Anyway, that doesn't matter. She said she didn't see anything... Um, Let's see, two weeks ago, well, anyway, she had him in February. So, there wasn't hardly any talk about this coronavirus, and nobody was wearing masks, and there, nobody was making any big deal, checking people out, no restrictions on visitors, nothing like that. Okay, she starts off talking like that, and then she said within a week, everything is, uh, oh, so many cases, breaking out here, breaking out there, breaking out everywhere, and they're all getting afraid, even them, you know, the missionaries. Well, you know, sometimes God's got to kind of, whack, whack, you know, <laughs> smack us across the face a few times, not literally. But anyway, she got a message. Well, I'm going to let you hear her talk for a minute or so. It's just so powerful. I mean, it just gave me so much faith. Um, but here, people, in general, there is like a huge um, sense of fear in people. And it was in me too, until I stopped reading the news. Um, then last night, the Lord started to speak. Okay, I, I, I went past the part where she heard the Lord tell her, stop reading the news. And he told her husband also the same night. And when they got up, he told her first. The Lord said, "We, I have to stop reading the news. <laughs> She's like, oh, he told me that too. <laughs> anyway, um, let me let you finish listening to this. To me, in a very deep way, I started getting messages, um, images, words that I could not stop and I knew I have to make a video to share this with all of you out there especially in Europe because this the Lord showed me I saw this is a huge demonic attack on the world right now especially in the cities of the world in, and in the continent of Europe right now in, in, in China of course uh, why? Because revival is coming. Because revival is here. Because this new decade that we're starting this year is the beginning of something huge. I saw that those nations that have been infested the most, Italy, China, Spain, Portugal, I'm not aware of the other numbers. Uh, I've been reading mostly about what is happening here. And um, those nations are going to be set on fire like, like we don't see, we don't understand. People will not believe that something so dead soon, soon, this year, this year, is going to be set on fire. People in Italy, people in Spain, get ready. This is an attempt of the enemy to stop, to delay what the Lord is doing, what the Lord is going to do. This is not a season to empty stands. This is not a season to empty the roads outside. This is a season for the church to go out. This is the time for the church to arise. The Lord showed me this coronavirus it's the, the word is corona, which is the word in Spanish. It's a crown. 
who is crowning himself is a fake adversary that we have. You know, it's the adversary with a fake crown. It's so beautiful to, to wake up to see the only king that is crowded is Jesus. And we as a whole body, we are covered with his precious blood. This is just a cough. It's just a cough. The Lord showed me I saw it. This is not a real infestation. This is not a real thing. I mean, it is a real thing because it's attacking some people. There is fear that is spreading. The, the enemy is the is the, the father of lies and he's lying to all of us. He's lying to the church especially. He's lying and he's winning. I don't know if this... Okay, I'll stop it there. See, the Lord showed her this whole thing is, is a lie from the devil just like all his other things that he's passed throughout the churches. It's to get us all off track, get our minds off of him. Now this is a 27 minute video and I didn't I didn't get all the way through it. I got about two thirds of the way through it and I said I got to share this before it gets much later. Because I want, would like for you to hear it. Now notice she didn't even mention America. So I wonder are we not on their news over there? She's made, she said China, Italy, Spain, but we're actually third. It's China, Italy, and the USA, if I'm not mistaken, if it hasn't changed today. Anyway, I thought it odd that she didn't even mention America. No riot revival in America. Anyway, I'll end it here. And, um... This is just more confirmation from what I put up earlier. That we're being snowballed. And, oh, that man, I was, what's his name? Mike Molovich? Mol oh, the Secretary of State who accidentally let it slip. But this is a live exercise. That's what I've been thinking anyway. It's practice time. They're practicing with us. And we're all just going along with it because we don't want to get sick. Oh, I got to have me some antibacterial soap and I got to have me some of that hand sanitizer and some of them wipes and I better stock up on toilet paper. I don't know how long I'll be quarantined. And now look, the shelves are bare. You can't even buy any. And I bet the government's just sitting up there laughing their butts off. I just bet you. I hope I can say that. You know it's better than the other word. But anyway, they're laughing at us. Don't you know they are? Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. You powers that be. You would lead to Illuminati. Oh, I better hold my tongue. I don't want my video pulled. The Lord is in control, and we are His children. We have nothing to fear. Nothing. Like she said, this is nothing. She said nothing but a cough. But then she changed her tune and said it's the flu. I believe it is the flu. Whether they are actually spreading it, or it's just flu season and they knew it was going to be really bad with the H1N1 going around now. So they decided to take good advantage of it. Maybe even took some of it and spread it around on handrails. Spread it around on grocery carts. Who knows? Who knows? They're always up to something. I'm sorry if I, you know, y'all don't agree. But it's the truth. We are useless eaters. They want us dead. Why would they spend all this money protecting us?
Why not let us just run around and lick the germs off our fingers while we eat our Kentucky Fried Chicken? Hmm? No, Kentucky Fried Chicken is closed, except for takeout. Well, that's what I hear of the restaurants. Most of them around here, all of them, have been closed, except for takeout. So many things are closed, and owners are just willingly closing their businesses down. Nobody's in revolt, because they want to not make anybody sick either. They want to make sure they participate and cooperate and um, play along with the plan. So they aren't, you know, accused of, well, you allowed people to come in there and shop. And then three people ended up with the co-virus on account of you. Well, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to be in the news for not, you know, doing what they wanted. I don't know if you'd be arrested and fined. I, I don't know if a business owner even has a choice. Does anybody? It may depend on your state and what they're doing. You know, each individual state. The governors are in control. I heard President Trump say that. So I guess it would depend on what state you live in as to how hard they're enforcing everything to close. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. If you want to listen to this video and you can't see the description box, it is Anna Jeffrey, A-N-A, space j-e-f-f-e-r-y that's the channel name the title is to the church dash march 2020 it was filmed or <laughs> filmed it was recorded march 17th 2020 that's not that long ago okay i'm gonna end it here with that, I'll say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. This is the kind of thing that the devil probably wouldn't want up. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself and my channel and my internet connection. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connections. So we can stay together until we get to go to heaven. And maybe it won't be very long. Maybe it won't. Well, we just don't know, do we? But the signs here are pointing to it. I just think it has to be during a time when weddings are going on. And I would like to know if anybody knows anybody who's still going through with their wedding. Or any other kind of large partying going on. Okay, with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.